Thank you guys for joining me today on Instinctive Addiction Archery. I'm Jeff Phillips. All right, you say, well, what have you got going on today? <laughs> Boy, I got a good one for you today. I promise you that, guys. I'm always, always trying to tap into something that's 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 going to help you guys. It's going to help you. I'm thinking about you. I really am because I've been there, and it's I'm overloaded with messages lately. The guys are wanting to get into traditional archery. They, I, I cannot count how many messages I've had this week alone saying, I just got into trad. What do I need to get? What kind of bow? What kind of arrows? Where do I need to start? What do I need to order? Well, guys, this has been on my heart for a long time, and it's just, it's just a blessing how these things work out. Sometimes things work out when you don't plan them, you don't expect them, they just happen, okay? And it's like absolutely amazing. I was contacted by the guys at Three Rivers Archery with a new entry-level budget-priced bow. And I said, that is the exact market that I'm after, that I am trying to get out there good bows that don't cost a lot of money that people can enjoy shooting, they can get into traditional archery and have something very accurate, very dependable, that they can shoot over and over and over, whether they keep it for years or whether they keep it long enough to move up to the next level, whatever the case may be, guys. That's what I want to try to introduce. And today I have got a very exciting new bow for a whopping cost of $184.99. That's right, $185 bow. Guys, you know, we did all the videos on the budget bows from Amazon, uh, various bows, and I was just blown away at how good they actually shot. Now, here's your difference. You can go that route, but you don't know if your limbs are gonna be what they are supposed to be if your pounds are going to be on there is no quality control whatsoever there's not guys it's, it's just a chance you take and you can pay a couple of more dollars and buy from a reputable company like three rivers archery with their name on it you see that traditional only the karen that is called the karen you say well what is a karen well let me explain to you the cool name karen is an Indian term for a pile of stones that marked a pathway, okay? That's why they named this bow the Karen, because it is the best bow for starting at ground zero on a budget price for your pathway to traditional archery. That's right, and you cannot buy a better bow to get you started. You can't. Guys, it's amazing. I mean, it truly is, and I'm just telling you, I try everything, I test everything, and if I don't like something, I don't like it. Okay, I would not dare do a video on this bow telling you that this is a good bow if it was not. Okay, it's that simple, guys. Now, I'm gonna, before we shoot this thing, <laughs> and it's awesome, by the way, uh, let me just tell you a little bit about what, what happened here. Okay, so the guys at Three Rivers contacted me about this exciting new, new budget price bow, all right, called the Karen. All right. I was just excited to get it in my hands. It came in this week. I got it put together. Now, they also sent some amazing arrows, guys, that are priced really, really good. And I love them. I've already been shooting these arrows. I have a video from a couple of years ago with these same arrows with 300 grains on the front of them, uh, complete killer arrows that I did a video on. Okay, so when they sent these arrows, I was excited because I was like, Oh yeah, I, I like these arrows really, really well. And they are the traditional only bear bow arrows. There they go. Black wrapped, uh, four inch, uh, turkey feathers, shield cut already. Man, they're hooked up. All right, so I decided, all right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this video with what they sent me, okay? To show you what you can buy, complete package. We're talking bow, arrows, everything ready to shoot under $300. That's right, in general. Now, there are a few things that you're gonna need to get and you're gonna need to order when you go this route, okay? Just like you will with any other bow, if you don't already have these things. Uh, you're gonna need a good glove, okay? You're gonna need a good glove or a good tab. Uh, you're probably gonna want a quiver if you're gonna hunt, things of that nature. 
As far as the bow itself goes, let me show you what I did to this bow and what it come with. Now, it comes with a black endless loop string. This is a Dacron string. Like most, most entry level bows come with, they all come with the Dacron strings, right? I'm not gonna shoot a Dacron string because this bow is equipped for fast flight, okay? And if it's equipped for fast flight, if these limbs are built for fast flight, that's what I'm gonna be shooting out of it. You can bet that. So what I did, instead of just ordering one from them, because they do have D97 fast flight strings, they have every string under the sun that you could ever want, the wool puffs, the knocks, anything you need, they've got. And you can get it. When you order this bow, all you have to do is tell them, okay, this is, this is I, I want a, a better string for it, okay? Done deal. It's still not gonna cost you but a couple of more dollars. I put a brand new triple T string on this bow because that's personally what I love to shoot. And I know these strings, I know the feel, and I wanted an even comparison because every single Amazon bow that I put together and I tested and did the videos on, I put triple T strings on them. So I wanted to compare the same string on a different bow, okay? So it was a level playing field, okay? There would be no advantage or disadvantage that I know what to expect in the feel of this string material, okay? So Trevor sent me a string for this bow and I just put it on and there again, you when you order one, you don't have to go that route. You can order your string, put your puffs on, put your knocks on, you can do all that, but you have to order it because it is going to come with a cheaper string it's going to because guys there's it, the the way i look at it there's no possible way that a company can afford to sell you a bow in this price range and include everything premium including a string for that price okay it, it cannot be done guys it just can't but the bow's where your money's at buy the bow get you a good deal on a bow put a good string on it silence it up you're good to go okay let me show you what else i did to this bow i put velcro like i do every recurve pretty much i have i cut me some velcro just this that's all i did was cut some velcro strips and put on my limb groups now they have silencing material they have uh uh it's kind of like uh calf hair you can get the kits with the calf hair works great works fine that's typically what most people do. I just cut Velcro and put on there. Velcro works fine and, and it lasts a long time. But I did put calf hair material on the shelf because I'm shooting this thing off the shelf. So I put my calf hair, which I got from Three Rivers. Uh, they come in a piece. You just cut it with your scissors. You'll have a strike plate piece and a shelf piece. Okay, it's all you need, guys. These bows come already tapped for all sorts of plungers. If you wanted to run a plunger and a rest, which like, hey, they come with a flipper rest, check it out. If you wanted to shoot this flipper style rest, there's the adhesive that comes with it. The bows do come with that if that's what you want to shoot. I don't, I like shooting off the shelf. So I always set mine up, guys. I'm shooting split finger. And I checked the tiller on this bow. And this bow was one eighth inch positive tiller, which is absolutely to spec, it's perfect. That's how we built bows when a feller said, I'm gonna shoot split finger and I might wanna shoot three under. We always, always, always did one eighth inch positive. That way that bow is in general, it's good for whatever. Whereas if you have three eighths or a quarter positive, you almost have to shoot it split finger to be able to tune an arrow, okay? Three under just doesn't work with that. Three under, it, it needs to be a lot closer to even tiller. So. What I did was I checked the tiller. I said, oh man, this thing's awesome. And all I did was I set my knock height like I always do, I always do, just above a half inch for split. Now, if I'm shooting three under, I have a little mark on my square, which is five eighths of an inch. That's where I shoot at my draw length. The longer your draw length is, slightly higher knock point you're gonna want to run, okay? but mine's just above a half inch and that's where it bear shafts. I just happened to already had, guys, this is what's so cool. I already had a bear shaft of one of these arrows because like I said, I already own some. Got a bear shaft out, it bear shafted within five minutes. I had this thing shooting a bullet. So I actually 
took these and just started shooting them. And it is amazing, guys. So I'm gonna shoot this thing and show you. Oh, and by the way, toolless. That's right, it's toolless. You don't need an Allen wrench. Now you can torque with an Allen wrench, but when you unstring this bow, you can simply grab these knobs and take your limbs off, guys. You don't have to have tools to take the limbs off these when you get ready to travel. And it is a 19 inch riser, very, very good mass weight. Very stable, very good mass, comfortable, medium grip, radius shelf, uh, 62 inch bow. And I got mine, they sent me a 45 pounder because that's my favorite pounds. Uh, that would mean I'm drawing this bow about 43 at the most, uh, 42 minimum, somewhere around 43. I haven't scaled it, but that's what all my 45 pound bows actually are pulling. And you will be amazed what a 502 grain arrow, that's what these things weigh, 502 grains, what they're actually doing. I don't know if you can see it, but I just shot one, 164 feet per second. I'll actually shoot one more and see if it duplicates at my draw, which is pretty dang quick, guys. It really is. 153. We'll shoot it up. One fifty-four. Okay, so where you anchor and where you draw on a uh, speed test, it, it's critical. I mean, if you overdraw one, yeah, you're going to get a little more. But I'm getting one hundred and fifty-four feet per second out of a five hundred and two grain arrow, pulling forty-two to forty-three pounds. That's pretty dang good. Uh, definitely not a slow bow by any means of the sentence. Well, let's shoot this thing, guys. I'm going to show you what it does. The Karen. Let's just see what you get for your money. Which is a lot. Guys ask me all the time, they say, what can I get? Get these knocks turned right, these are brand new arrows. They say, what can I get for, for $300, say? I mean, arrows and all. Well guys, there's not a lot of bows you can buy for $300 to begin with. Especially not buying arrows and everything. That's why the guys at Three Rivers have tackled this and decided to put out a quality bow that they back that is going to be the specs that you order out of the box, ready to go. You get what you get, and I love it. Let's shoot this thing. <laughs> just, just 12 ring. I mean, first, first shot like nothing, man. Golly. That's amazing. I mean, it is truly amazing, guys. <laughs> it, it really is. <laughs> they're, they're touching right there, just dead on, dead on, touching. I mean, we're talking super accuracy. All right, I was gonna show you guys up close these, these two arrows I shot out of it. Is that not amazing? Oh my gosh. That's instinctive, split finger, traditional only bear bow, 500 spined arrows, 502 grains. It's amazing out of this thing. They knew what to send. That's a really good combination right there. I guarantee it is. All right, guys, I want to test something out here. Uh, I want to shoot a little bit of distance, but I want to shoot a little heavier arrow setup. These Go Tip Warriors, these are some of my actual hunting shafts, you know, of course, running 275 grains on the front. And uh, I'm going to weigh them again. I just want to see how these Warriors shoot out of this bow because they're available also. You can even buy them pre fledged, ready to go. You can even have your inserts installed. You can buy the heavy brass inserts, the 100 grain, the 50s, uh, whatever you want. They'll cut them, insert them, you know, pretty much everything you want to do. Uh, okay. 531. So, got a 531 grain arrow. Let's see how this thing shoots. 
I know they shoot really well out of all my other bows. All of the custom bows, I shoot these arrows all the time out of them. So let's just see how this one does. And I put my, uh, I put my Selway strap-on quiver on this bow also. Really good mass weight now. Feels great. Because I shoot with a quiver most all the time. We'll shoot some long distance here. See how she does. <laughs> Man, I can't get over it. Oh my gosh, that, whoo, that thing is accurate. And I'll tell you a trick I did too, guys. Uh, one little trick that, that really made some difference on this and it was super easy. I cut me a piece of Velcro and I put it under this limb, but when you take the limb off, you got this aluminum pocket. I cut me a piece of Velcro uh, that goes right under that my limb just sits on and it takes every ounce of vibration out. There's, there's just nothing, guys, it's a thud. That's what I like. I like them quiet. Mm. Man, this thing's accurate. Yes, the gold tips really, really shoot good out of here. Warriors. Gold tip warriors. 100 green brass inserts. 175 green tips. Yes, they fly good. Yeah. This thing kill anything. I mean, there's none of those shots under 25 yards. And this sucker is laying them in there like a $1,500 bow. I promise you guys it is. It is absolutely mind-blowing. Mind-blowing. The stability of this thing maybe it's the 19 inch riser and the mass weight and with me especially when you run your quiver it don't move i mean it it's just so incredibly smooth and the 45 pound limbs are perfect for me god they feel good they're awesome this is a very very accurate bow very very stable It don't matter what you shoot at it. Put, I'm telling you guys, look and shoot it. The sucker hits where you're looking. It's very easy bow to shoot instinctive with. Very, very easy. There's no effort at all. I can't say that this little bow is not more shootable. Honest to goodness, more than shootable than probably 80% of the bows I've ever put in my hand. And guys, that's the truth of it. That, that is just the honest truth of the matter. It is very, very enjoyable to shoot. Very enjoyable. I'm gonna shoot one long distance when it did that white X out there. Dead, smooth, just dead center of it. 30 yards. 30 yards dead center, like nothing, nothing. I love it, guys. I love it. Absolutely love it. It's hard to believe that you can get a bow that shoots like this for the money. I, I mean, it really is. Uh, and guys, I don't care what brand it is, and they've got a multitude of them. It's not just this bow. If you go on Three Rivers' website, they've got an array of bows now. Budget priced, okay? But you're gonna need to do the same thing to any of them you buy. You're gonna need to upgrade your string. You're gonna need to put a little bit of silence in material. They're not loud, but I like a bow quiet. I mean, I really do. I'm, I'm after the quietest shot I can get. But they've got an entire assortment of bows, guys. They do. That, I mean, are going to satisfy you. The feel, the shot, everything, without spending a lot of money. You can't beat it. So the whole thing with this and how it kind of got started 
was I get so many people asking me all the time, Jeff, do you still make bows? Where can I get one? What are, if you don't, what, what do you recommend? And I'm like, no, I'm not building bows anymore. But the demand is still there. It's crazy. Um, anything seems like that I'm shooting in videos that I just love and I shoot good and I just I enjoy shooting it. People are like, where can I get one of those? Well, a lot of them, guys, you can't. A lot of them, it's a one in a million to, to, to find some of the stuff that I shoot. So we address that situation. And that's the discussion that I had uh, with the guys at Three Rivers. You know, look, I want to put something out there on my videos that a man can can get on his phone or get on his computer and and order exactly what I'm shooting. Exactly. Okay? That's the point of it. Uh, I wanted to, to do some things with different bows and and when i find ones that i really really like especially the ones in the great money range i want guys like you to be able to get on there and order it and set it up just like i got mine or like you might want it you know i mean you may like something a little different than i do but i try to give you the tips and the tricks uh, of what really works and and guys honestly there's not a lot it's not um uh, you just you just can't beat these bows i mean this bow is very similar to a sam sage it's very similar um the quality i mean every line that I, I haven't found a flaw on it i mean i have it and there again what i call cheap bows i could care less about all that as long as they're shooters and they're tough and you can drop them out of a tree stand i mean literally and pick them up and shoot them that's what i'm interested in because i hunt hard and i don't baby bows like that uh and honestly guys I, i'm to the point i would rather carry something like this a killing machine to the woods and hunt with it than i would a beautiful custom bow that i don't want to put a scratch on just just being honest guys putting it out there i would rather carry a bow that i can throw in the boat or throw it in the canoe um you know lay it down wherever i need to and just keep hunting and know that it's going to shoot exactly like it's supposed to that's what interests me more than anything and guys i will tell you now this karen c-a-i-r-n karen pathway marks your pathway to traditional this is a great starter bow guys great great starter bow i can't say enough about it but there again please don't compare the strings that come with them to a custom string and when i say custom strings whether it's a triple t or whether it's one that the guys at three rivers put in the box and send you they've got it all but you've got to go with a good premium string and all of these bows are equipped for it and that's that's what's important you got to make sure whatever bow you get will handle fast flight uh material like d97 something that's going to pick up some speed uh, the shootability, uh, the, the string makes the bows, guys. And I'll promise you, I've shot some high-end bows, very high-end bows, that did not have quality strings on them, and they were awful. Just awful. It put a bad taste in your mouth. And it's nothing but the string. The bow can't help what you, what you put on it. I mean, you've got to put a good string on a bow, and you've got to do what you need to do to get it as quiet as possible. But what is important is quality, construction, the feel, the mass weight, the stability, the grip. I'm a freak about grips, guys. The grip is everything on a bow to me. If I put a bow in my hand and I do not like the feel of that grip, in other words, I want to show you guys something. Here's what I like about this bow. If you notice, especially with my shooting style, as I shoot split finger and even when i shot three under i shoot instinctive if you will notice guys notice how high i mean how close that arrow rides to my finger see my finger how close it is that puts everything more in line with my eye whereas that's why i don't shoot an elevated wrist way up here in other words you would have to set your knock up high and you'd be way up here on an elevated wrist 
your hand would be way down here. It doesn't work for me. That's just not how I shoot good. Any bow that I shoot, I like that arrow as close as I can get it to my hand, where my hand, my finger, is almost flush with that shelf, that radius shelf right there. And the minute that I put this bow in my hand, I knew I was gonna be able to shoot this bow without any problem. And there it is, guys. That's it. That's why I like it so much. So, there again. Uh, I don't know what your draw length is and what, what your specs are, but I'll promise you this 62 inch bow will handle it. If you're a 27 like me, or you're a 30 or a 31, this bow's still gonna handle it. And I'll guarantee if you've got the draw length to shoot it, this thing will get some incredible speed. I'll try to draw it like 28 inches and just see what it does on the graph right quick. Um, I'm sure it's gonna be quite different than what it is at my draw. Let's see. That might be 28. It was duplicate, 153. If I was able to even draw it any further. I'm worried about shooting my graph more than anything. 163, okay. So I got just a little bit more. That was 163. We'll try one more. Really good speed though for a 502 grain arrow. And especially if you go building your arrows up to about the 550 mark, something like that. Yeah, it's gonna be a big difference. 159. So, okay. That gives you an idea of relatively what this thing is doing. Very, very good speeds with a hunting weight arrow. Uh, if I was shooting a light arrow out of it, the thing would be cooking up there way up. But who cares about that? It's not about, it's about quiet, hard hitting, accurate. That's it. It's a hunting boat. Now, if you want to shoot 3D with these, and you want to shoot a 350 grain arrow, it's probably not going to hurt it because these are maple core limbs. They're going to be tough as nails. Shoot what you want to. But I don't recommend anything under 10 grains per pound for the life of a bow. I really don't. And that brings me to one other thing, guys. Yes, 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 you can get additional limbs at a very low cost, okay? Very, very affordable for the extra limbs, any pounds you want. All you gotta do is get on there and order them. If you, if you start out with a 40 pound bow and decide, you know what, I'm, I'm gonna hunt with this thing. I want a little bit more weight. Go up to 45s. They come in five pound increments. That's what you can do. Very, very affordable. And when I, I, I don't remember the exact price, but guys are cheap. They really are. For what you get in a quality limb like this, oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. Black glass, maple core, fast flight ready. Can't beat it. Can't beat it at all, guys. So this is the traditional only Karen by Three Rivers Archery. And that's my opinion of it, guys. Thank you for joining me on Instinctive Addiction Archery. I'm Jeff Phillips. Pray that everything we say and do bring honor and glory to the good Lord above. He gives us everything to enjoy, including testing out cool new bows. God bless you.